Happy Friday, everyone. I'm Mike Moliterno. Welcome to the TGIF Report. Today, we are going to talk about the May issue because it is... The issue day! That's right. And appropriately, one of the topics of the May issue is landscaping, something that I really need to get working on this weekend because my lawn is about knee high and consists mainly of dandelions. But first, I'd like to share with you what was perhaps the highlight of my week. In case you don't know who this is, this is Marla Berkowitz. She is the sign language interpreter for all of Ohio Governor Mike DeWine's coronavirus press conferences, and she is amazing. We were able to ship 4.1 million pieces of PPE to local EMAs across the state of Ohio. Uh, while not the first shipment, this is the largest one-time distribution of PPP, we think, in the history of Ohio. Berkowitz has gained quite a bit of attention for her signing. She has become a meme, there are t-shirts, and there's even a Facebook fan page with this adorable video of a toddler mimicking her or this one of a cat trying to grab her hands. The main reason Berkowitz has gained so much attention, I think, is that when she's doing her signing, she is pretty intense. In fact, I like to consider her the Metallica of signing. However, I have come to learn that being very expressive when you are doing sign language is actually very important. It makes it easier for the people who are watching to understand the tone and nuance of what the person is saying. And it is that um, expressive, animated um, sign language that is going on in contrast to Ohio Governor Mike DeWine's controlled and calm demeanor that is so much fun to watch. However, I think her finest moment came this week when DeWine opened up the press conference with a video about Ohio's native plant life. So let's take a look at these. entertainment and I have a hunch that years from now when this is all over Marla Berkowitz will be one of the things that we look back on fondly now to the May issue as I said one of the topics in the May issue is the landscaping industry and what we found is that landscapers are moving fast to take advantage of the spring season and most are cautiously optimistic about business some of the trends they're seeing are more people dressing up the yard while they're staying home and more people putting in gardens most landscapers including Bockelmans in Cortland and Kushner's in Boardman are beefing up their websites and offering curbside pickup. Another industry that's optimistic about the season is the home improvement industry. In the story on page 36, we talk with several companies who say they're receiving calls from interested customers. Now, all this month, the Business Journal is supporting small businesses with our Rally Around Small Business campaign sponsored by Home Savings Bank. On page three, we hear from small business owners about how they've been navigating the COVID-19 outbreak and what their prospects are for reopening. Then on page 10, we learn how insurance agencies are helping small businesses prepare for the new normal. On page 16, we find out how schools are preparing for the next academic year. Of course, one of the aspects of the economy that has been hit particularly hard are businesses that are dedicated to lifestyle and entertainment. In the May issue, we check in with local brewers about how they're adapting to keep serving their customers. And on page 46, we round up several area venues to find out how they plan to reopen in a world where social distancing is required. Some of them may consider setting up plastic dividers like the ones being sold by Carney Plastics in this ad, which is a great example of how you can get your message out to your clients about what you're doing and how you can help get them back to work. Now, if you are a subscriber of the Business Journal, thank you very much. Go pick up your copy, enjoy it, read it. You're gonna love it. If you are not, however, you can still check out all of this great content in our free e-edition sample. Just click e-edition at businessjournaldaily.com. That is all for this week's TGIF report. I'm Mike Moliterno. See you next Friday. Seven Seventeen Credit Union, business services designed to meet your daily needs. 
commercial loans, business deposits, merchant and payroll services. 717 Credit Union. It's knowing you were treated right every time.